I watched many teachers, um, and just ran around outside and played Minecraft. Yeah. yeah. Nice. What's the first thing you said you watched? What? I watched many futures, like in the stock market. Oh. I'm playing nice. the stock market game again. Are you? You making a lot of money? Okay. All right. Uh, Luke, what did you do this weekend? Uh, not much. <laughs> okay. I. Um, I played Minecraft and mm -hmm. um, I played card games Ooh. and yeah, that's about it. That sounds nice. Now, how about you, Brian? Um, I played Minecraft, Call of Duty, and some <laughs> stuff on the Wii. Really? And that's pretty much all I did this weekend. You're usually the outdoorsman. Well, I did go outside and climb a bunch of trees, and but I only did that for like half an hour. Really? Wow. Yeah. Okay. Um, how about you, Grace? What? What, what did you do this weekend? weekend? Mm -hmm. Um. Well, I binge watched a show. Do you know what Criminal Minds is? Yeah. I've been watching that for the past three days. So. <laughs> did you start at the beginning? Yeah. I'm already on like season two, episode five. <laughs> I like, um, oh my goodness, I can't think of his name now. The guy who's really smart. Oh my God, Spencer yeah. Reed. Reed. I love him. I love him. He's my favorite. <laughs> Mine too. Um, Colby, what did you do? I fixed my computer. Oh, what was wrong with it? Well, it kept like freezing. Mm -hmm. Whenever I did a lot of stuff on it, which isn't normal. So then we figured out that there was like a bunch of dust. And then the the um, graphics card was overheating. Oh. Interesting. Because the dust was like blocking the fans. I wouldn't be able to figure that out. I'd have to buy a new computer. <laughs> <laughs> Lily, what did you do this weekend? Um... I played some Minecraft and I played Assassin's Creed Syndicate for a little bit, but it kept freezing, so I stopped. And, and I just watched stuff on Netflix. You didn't go on a bike ride with Grant? Because when I talked to him, he said he went on a long bike ride. No, I don't like riding up hills. A hill. <laughs> we live on a Yeah, he did say something about riding like up by Geisinger, and I was thinking it sounded hilly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Did I get everyone? I think so. All right. Um, well, also, you guys had some inverse functions to do. That's probably the best part of the weekend. Oh, yeah. That's true. Right? Okay. That, let's see how that went on page 601. Um, page 601, we had expressed each ratio as a fraction. Then as a decimal to the nearest hundred. Am I? I think that's what we have to do. Okay. Now, page 601, numbers 12 to 15. I wrote down the wrong numbers. 12 to 15. Okay. Um, oh, yes. We're finding angle Z to the nearest 10. Okay. Um, I'm going to pull up my list and start at the top. That gives me Aristotle to start number fifth or number twelve. Thirty-three point seven is angle Z. Yes, good. Thirteen, Brian. Forty-four point four. Good. Fit fourteen, Colby. Colby, are you with me? Hello, Colby. Colby. Oh, sorry, I was in the restroom. Um, okay. 
I'm pretty sure the whole time I was in Radiance. Now I'm looking at uh, my article. Okay. Wait, can I redo it really quick? Yeah, go ahead. Um, right. I'll go to 15 and then I'll come back to you. Okay. Um, Grace, number 15, you had to solve the whole thing. So we need to know the sides um, and the two angles. What did you get for that, Grace? Um, All right. What'd you get for this? I got 48.19. Oh, for, for, for the side, side yeah. Do you have the side, Grace? What? Do you have the side? No, I don't. Oh, okay. But I'm about to get it. All right. I'll go back to Colby then. Colby, what did you get for 14? Did you get angle Z um, yet? Well, I didn't get it because I got 0 0.25. Wait, I think I used the wrong thing. It, wouldn't that be sin, or would it be tan? It's going to be a sign, but you're going to have to use inverse. Oh, yeah, sign. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. inverse. That's the issue. So inverse sign. Mm. Now I'm getting negative one hmm. point three. All right. Um, do inverse sine, and then in I think on your calculator, and then in parentheses no. fifteen divided by twenty-five. Is it negative four point six? No. Are you in degrees or radians? I am in degrees. Okay. Um, can you hold your? I can't see anything for you except for like a. I can't tell what that is. Like a dinosaur. Oh wait, I must have turned off my video. Oops. Yeah. Right. Okay. There you are. All yeah. right. Let me see what calculator you're using. Can you hold it up? I'm using the one on my Chromebook. On your Chromebook. Okay. So did you just Google calculator? Yeah. All right. Let's let me get there. Okay. Um, so if I do that, and then the first one that just pops up, um, okay, so if you're using that one, do 15 divided by 25 equals, which we, you'll get 0.6, and then hit inverse sine. Uh, so inverse sine of 0.6. This should come up like, does it say arc sine? Oh, uh, yeah, and I still get 4.559. Really? I'm on the same thing. Hang on, I'll share my screen with you. All right. All right, so I'm going to share my screen. Tell me, is this the calculator you see? Um, it didn't load yet. Okay. Oh, um, it's that's not reason right. it's blank. Some, your screen. Mine is. Huh. Um. Does anyone else see a calculator on mine? Yeah, I can't see it. All I see is your picture. Yeah, I see it. I see. Did you see a calculator, Luke? Oh, now I see it. Yeah, that's the one I'm using. Okay. So do this, hit inverse sign, and it's gonna say arc sign. All right, and then do 15 divided by 25, and your parentheses equals. Oh, wow, I figured out my issue. You have it in radians? Instead of doing inverse, I was doing the IN. Where's IN at? It's Oh, to this? The right of, yeah. oh, this one? That's LN. That's not, that stands for natural log. Yep. Um, okay. <laughs> oh. That's really an L. Yeah, <laughs> LN. That's for natural log. You would use that in algebra too. 
Oh, yeah. All right. So you're good now? Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Um, so you should get 67 for that one. And then... No, not that one. You can get 36.9. Sorry. Mm -hmm. what that? Why am I getting 64? Am I doing the wrong one? Hmm. All right. Did did you guys get thirty six point nine for that yeah. one? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Why am I getting sixty four point three? Maybe I'm looking in degrees. All right. Who is that that I'm hearing? <laughs> Background. All right. Um. All right, Grace, did you get side RS? Um, I don't know. Wait, so what would the, because I feel like I have the wrong like equation, but. Okay. Um, for RS, so you're going to take your hypotenuse, which is nine and square it. Yeah, a squared plus b is one. And you're gonna subtract. Okay. You're gonna subtract 36, and you'll get 45. Okay. And I then you want to take the square root of that. So it's five. Or wait, no, it's not. It's... Six point seven. Yep, good. Okay. How about angle S? Um six point seven. I guess angle S is ninety. Angle T is forty eight. Oh. Um, how about angle R? Forty two. Good. All right. So that is those. And then you also did 36 to 45 odds. That way you could check in the back. Um, did you check in the back? No. The only one I checked for was. All right. I kind of want you to check in the back because if you check in the back and you know you have them, then we don't have to go over them. But I'll just read you the answers and then you can ask me if you have any questions. How's that? Okay. Um, okay. You're going to use a calculator. For 37, you should have 61.4 mm -hmm. degrees. 39, 28.5 degrees. And 41, 21.8 degrees. I couldn't figure out how to do um, number 41 on a calculator. Oh, because of the roots? Mm hmm Okay. Um, so you should end up with 21.8. Did anyone get 21.8? 23.6. Um, I got 21. Okay. Or 53.6. Yeah. Um, what about you, Aristotle? What did you get for 41? 21.8. All right. Did you use a calculator? Yes. All right. How did you do the roots? I just typed in the roots. So it's number 41, right? Yeah. Yeah. I just typed in find root three and I don't know. My calculator just did it. I just typed in the roots. Oh, to your calculator, you can type in root. Um, if, yeah. in, Brian, are you using what Mrs. Palmer uses like the, um, like on the iPhone? Yeah. Okay. So um, I would type in like for four root three, four times three square root equals. So if I want to type in four root three, I type in four times 
three, then the square root button, then equals. Okay. It gets yeah. to be kind of a pain doing that, but um, and you were trying to find angle T. Right. Okay. Um, so you should end up with 21.8. 43, WX equals 15.1, XZ equals 9.8, and the measure of angle W equals 33 degrees. And 45 is the last one. ST equals 30.6. Measure of angle R, 58 degrees. Measure of angle T, 32 degrees. Um, all right, Brian, were you okay with 41? Were, were you able to get 21.8? Or do you want me to go over that one, that whole problem, like using that calculator? I think he's muted. Oh, yeah, you are muted, Brian. All right, Brian, go ahead and unmute. Brian, were you able to get 21.8 or do you want to, me to just go through the steps of that one? So you can type it in on your calculator. Are you maybe, still muted? Maybe he went like to the restroom or something. Maybe. Okay. okay. All right. All right. I'm not sure. Um, yeah. That's why you guys, I think um, Mrs. Warner told me with sixth grade, she told them to turn their videos back on so she can see them. Because um, if you, we just see like that thumbnail, like I can't tell if Brian's sitting in front of his computer or if he went to the bathroom. So if you guys can turn your videos back on, go ahead and turn them on. Okay. Okay. Um, so we're midway through our chapter and, um, I want you to turn to page 607. If you look at numbers one through four, um, you'll see, oh yeah, remember geometric mean. And then numbers five and six is writing, a similarity statement. Number seven, finding X, Y, Z. Right. Um, all right. All right. So let's look at number one. How do we find the geometric mean, Colby? Um, isn't it? Oh, wait a minute. Well, don't you need the um, is it sign? Are, wait, are you on page 607? Yeah, okay, do 12 times 3. I don't remember how to do 12 times 3 and then take the square root. That's what it was. All right. So that would be... All right. Um, all right. Um, uh, I got six. Yeah. So for number okay. one. That's how you do those. Okay. Let's go to number five. Okay, write a similarity statement identifying the three similar triangles. So remember, um, for number five, they're showing us there's like the very large triangle, and then they um, draw an altitude 
and then there's like a smaller triangle and another uh, like triangle in there that's bigger than the smaller one. So if I start off with the big triangle and I call it triangles PRQ, okay, that's my big triangle, triangle PRQ. All right. I want to say it is similar to, and I'm going to look, I want you guys to look at the small triangle. So if I look at my big triangle and it's PRQ, I notice that my Q piece is the 90 degree angle. So I want the last letter of my small triangle to be the 90 degree angle. And then they're going to share one angle. So that should be in the same spot. Um, so Grace. So we have you next, okay? Big triangle, triangle PQR. Yep. And now I want you to look at the very small triangle and tell me what is similar. RSQ. RSQ. Let me look at that. P Q R. Okay. Or P R Q. Okay. So Q is my 90 degree, and I want my 90 degree to be S. All right. So what did you say it is? I'm sorry, Grace. S R Q. R Q. So it would be S R Q. I think I said it two different ways. Okay, I'm going to write it down and show you. Okay, triangle PRQ is the big one. Okay. So look at the small one, the smallest one. What's the 90 degree angle of the smallest one, Grace? Oh, S. S, okay. So I'm going to put S in the same spot. All right, I got three and spots. My 90 degree angle is Q, so I'm going to put S there. So that's going to go on the left. So our Right. What angle do they share? R. So R. So I'm going to put R in the same spot R was. Q R. Okay, because they share that angle. All right, and so my other angle must be Q. Okay. Now I'm also going to make it similar to that triangle on the left-hand side. It's a little bit bigger. Okay. What is the 90 degree angle of that one, Grace, of the triangle like towards the left? Um, Q. Well, this is like triangle PSQ. So that isn't, Q isn't 90 oh, degrees because it's cut in half. So S? S. S is the 90 degree. So I want it to go in that 90 degree spot, which was the last spot. Okay. And they're also sharing so, one side. The big one. And and that triangle are sharing. What what angle are they sharing? Um, Q. They're not sharing Q because in my triangle, like if I'm looking at the left triangle, that Q gets cut in half. I'm looking at like P S Q. So yep, they're sharing P. So I'm going to put P in the same spot as my original, and that means I have to put R in the middle. So that's your similarity statement for number five. Okay. Uh, Wait, now, time, how though. did you put... Go ahead, Lou. PRS doesn't... It's oh, just the line. You're right. Isn't it... Sorry. PQS. Isn't it PS? PQS. Oh. What what page is this? <laughs> Six oh seven. Mm -hmm. Ryan, you're back. Where to, did you go? To the restroom. Oh, okay. I've been trying to find. Yeah, yeah. That's fine. Okay. There it is. Um. So for tomorrow, I want you guys to do one to eleven, and we already did one and five. All right. So basically, the left hand side on page six oh seven, just to review those uh, first two sections. Okay, so it's like numbers mm -hmm. one to eleven, except we already did one and five. So I'll just give you nine problems. 
All right, are you guys okay? Do you have any questions? Mm -hmm. Oh, no. Okay. All right, I'll see you tomorrow and I'll be available two to three if you're working on this and you want to ask me something. All right, see you later. All right, have a good day. Thank you, Mrs. Palmer. You're welcome. Have a good day.